Hello and welcome back. This is video number five and we're going to talk about giveaways and how you can utilize them properly to drive more traffic to your Twitter account, get you more followers and uh, get you where you want to be so that you can build a bigger list and you can convert those leads into potential sales. Now there's a wrong way to run a giveaway. And of course there is a right way to run a giveaway. What I mean by that is the wrong way is to simply attract freebie seekers or attract people who have nothing to do with your niche. So if we go to Twitter here and we type in hashtag giveaway, we can see a lot of people running different types of giveaways. So this gives you a general overall view of giveaways. So if we scroll down here, some of these people are giving something actually related to their business. So for example, Power Direct, I assume is a company, it looks like a company, an electrical retailer company. So they sell a bunch of electrical items and it looks like they're giving away a auto steam iron. Now, I'm not sure exactly if Power Direct is a company that develops irons. I'm not sure. So if we click here, we can see that they mainly sell appliances. So they sell dishwashers, all sorts of things, TVs and all that. So to me, that's very broad and it might make sense to have a giveaway, but you're still not attracting, you might not be attracting someone who might be wanting a dishwasher or wanting other items that you actually sell. If you're giving away an iron or if you're giving away, let's say a, a sewing machine and you're attracting people who like quilting, people who like sewing of some sort, maybe some arts or crafts, maybe you're selling a course on sewing. So that would make sense in that case to have a giveaway to give away a sewing machine. So in this case, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it's too broad and too general. And that, in that case, I would not run a giveaway for that. I would want something a lot more specific. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, a lot of it says like retweet, follow me, retweet, me or retweet this thing, comment below and all that. Now this one only says retweet and follow me and follow this person. It doesn't say anything about commenting or anything like that. So what I would do is make sure that people comment. If you can get other people to comment, even the hashtag that you're using, that can actually effectively help you rank on that hashtag. So if the hashtag in that case earlier was, let's say a, a sewing machine giveaway. If you say comment below hashtag sewing machine giveaway and maybe a comment related to that, then those people commenting will actually help your ranking. See, they're making a mistake here. And even though they might be having a targeted giveaway, they're making the mistake in the sense that they're not asking their, the people who are putting in, trying to win that contest to help them rank that post. So if you do that, that's one little trick, get them all to comment, retweet, like, but not just comment anything, comment the actual hashtag. So we have hashtag giveaway, which is fine, but what you're doing here is you're tracking everybody who is interested in a giveaway. So in that case, we may not want to do that. Hashtags and all of that, which I'll talk about in the next video, is very important what you use. So if we scroll down further down and look at the different giveaways that are available, we can see here. Okay, so this is a good targeted giveaway. This is a good example of one. This person is selling, or this company is selling lemonades. So if we take a look at them, so they're called Calypso Lemonades. They sell different types of flavors of lemonade. And as we scroll down, 
looks like they do a lot of giveaways and, and looks like they're actually getting a lot of interaction. All right, so they're very consistent on the type of giveaway that they are giving. Okay, so that's a big plus. One thing that they could do is shorten their URL here and there's a lot of uh, caps in lowercase and it's just kind of confusing as to what is what, but I will give them props. It is targeted and that's good. So if we click down here, let's just click this tweet here and see what kind of comments they're getting. So they're saying, starting today, enter for your chance to win at blank blank, good luck. So they don't really tell you what to do. When you run a giveaway, you need to tell people what they need to do. So like I showed you earlier, comment, retweet, or comment this hashtag, retweet, and like. So as we can see here, it says uh, this person commented, I just entered, found out about y'all, and my life changed or something because of your lemonade. So if we scroll down, so it's interesting to me because these people did not ask for a comment, yet they were able to get a lot of good comments. And the comments aren't just random, they actually relate to the lemonade. But you believe it or not, they could actually double their comments if they simply ask people to comment. So you might have, let's say 141 likes, but there's only 56 comments. If you ask people, the requirement is also to comment, they would have gotten 141 comments if they got 141 likes. Now that's not guaranteed, but we're just saying, we're trying to expand the interaction here. So what they could do is they could do hashtag lemonade giveaway and ask people to comment down below that and of course how their product has actually helped people. So essentially what they're doing is they are giving away what people already want. And that is why they are building a targeted list. They are building a targeted following. People get what they want. So in other words, another thing you could do is do giveaways with coupons. If you're launching a product, you could say, okay, so for every one of you who comments down below, I'm gonna choose 10 winners. And you could choose those 10 winners, and then for the people that did not win, you could give them coupons, like 10% off coupon to your product. And they're gonna be happy because that's what they wanted in the first place. So in other words, don't run a giveaway for like an Amazon card. Now, you could say that they could buy a product that is related, but then you're gonna attract other people that just want your Amazon cards that have nothing to do with your niche. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm not gonna go into too much because I want you to take action. I want you to take this information and apply it. So remember, target giveaways are key. Get them to comment, get them to retweet, and of course, get them to like. Now, in addition to that, one thing that can help you choose a person, let's say for example, you have hundreds of comments and likes, but you don't know who to choose as a winner. So there are some tools out there. You can actually go to google.com, do a search for like random tweet picker. And one in specific is, it's called tweet draw. And if you go to competitionagency.com, that's competitionagency.com slash tweet draw. A lot of these tools actually require that you log in. So you need to log in and then you simply paste the URL of your giveaway. So I can't really show you that to you now because I'm logged into a brand new account that I created just for this video course, but you log in, you simply enter the URL and it will choose a random winner. You can take a screenshot of that and then show people that you actually utilize this tool. And that way they know it's random. Otherwise, if you just pick someone that you like, that's not really random. So that's as easy as it gets. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take that giveaway to the next level and get more traffic, all right?